Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss a critical topic that has led to numerous preventable deaths in the last decade. Dangerously deadly drug combinations. Our team of medical professionals has put together this essential video to help spread awareness and educate the public. Make sure to watch until the end to gain insights into methods of prevention. If you've ever experienced an adverse reaction to drugs, please share your story in the comments below to help create awareness and tell us if you remember using it with other medications. We'll be providing more insights in the comment section as well. 8 of the most dangerous drug combos. In the polypharmacy era, it's not unusual for patients with chronic diseases to take multiple medications. Drug interactions have increased because we're using more drugs and more combinations of drugs than ever before. These drug interactions can impair the effectiveness of one or more drugs or result in adverse events. Today, we're going to discuss eight of the most dangerous drug combinations. 1. Warfarin and NSAIDs. Combining blood-thinning medication like warfarin with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen can increase the risk of bleeding, potentially leading to severe internal bleeding or hemorrhage. 2. Herbal products like St. John's wort and SSRIs. St. John's wort, an herbal supplement commonly used for depression, can interact with various medications, including selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, like citalopram, cipramil, fluoxetine, Prozac, or sertraline, lustral. Many people use SSRIs to manage their anxiety or depression. When taken together with St. John's wort, they can cause serotonin syndrome. Serotonin syndrome is a life-threatening condition that causes alteration in mental status, muscular hyperactivity, and rigidity. St. John's wort can also interfere with the effectiveness of oral contraceptives, antiretroviral drugs, and certain anti-cancer agents, and may reduce the effectiveness of the immunosuppressant drug cyclosporin, leading to transplant rejection. Hyperforin, a component of St. John's wort, is believed to be responsible for these interactions. 3. Cocaine and heroin. Combining stimulants like cocaine and depressants like heroin, sometimes called a speedball, can strain the heart and central nervous system, leading to heart attacks, strokes, or respiratory failure. The reason for many of the deaths as a result of this combination of drugs is that people feel less vulnerable to heroin overdose because of their cocaine intake. In fact, users are no less vulnerable and may be more so due to an inability to sense the full effects of heroin and quit before the dose becomes fatal. If enough heroin is ingested, respiratory depression, oftentimes the cause of death occurs with heroin overdose. 4. Alcohol and Cocaine Although alcohol is a depressant, it is commonly known to increase levels of aggression. Cocaine, whose side effects include paranoia and agitation, can compound the aggression from alcohol and lead to violent behavior. In addition to this risk, alcohol and cocaine combine to create a unique and dangerous toxic compound called cocaethylene, a chemical that forms in the liver when these drugs are mixed. Cocaethylene is cardiotoxic, meaning that it puts significant stress on the cardiovascular system, which includes the heart and lungs. 5. Opioids and Benzodiazepines Opioids and Benzodiazepines Opioids, like morphine, tramadol, and oxycodone Oxycontin, are pain-relieving medications, while benzodiazepines, like diazepam, valium, or alprazolam, Xanax, are used to treat anxiety and panic disorders. Both types of drugs have a sedative effect, and when they're combined, they can slow down your breathing significantly. This can lead to a potentially fatal condition called respiratory depression, where the body doesn't get enough oxygen, causing coma or death. 6. Antidepressants and Monoamine Oxidase Inhibitor MAOIs. Mixing selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, like fluoxetine or tricyclic antidepressants TCAs, like amitriptyline with monoamine oxidase inhibitors MAOIs, like phenylzine can lead to a potentially life-threatening condition called serotonin syndrome that we mentioned earlier. It is characterized by agitation, confusion, rapid heart rate, and high blood pressure. 7. Sleep aids and prescription opioids. Prescription opioids are powerful painkillers, while sleep aids like Zolpidem, Ambien, or Ezopiclone, Lunesta, help you fall asleep. When combined, 
these medications can cause extreme drowsiness, slow breathing, and decreased mental function. This can lead to respiratory depression and an increased risk of accidental overdose. 8. Alcohol and Opiates Alcohol and opiates both act as central nervous system depressants. When used together, they can impair brain activity and slow down organ systems, increasing the risk of toxicity and overdose. Prevention It is crucial to consult a healthcare professional before taking any new medications or combining them with existing ones to avoid potentially dangerous interactions. Be especially cautious with the following combinations. Alcohol and opiates, e.g., Oxycontin, Percocet, Vicodin, etc. Alcohol and benzodiazepines, e.g., Ativan, Valium, Xanax, etc. Cocaine and heroin. Alcohol and cocaine. Keep in mind that even if two substances are not harmful on their own, combining them may lead to severe or even fatal consequences. Always talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you're unsure about the potential interactions between medications, including herbal supplements and over-the-counter drugs. Thank you for watching this important video. We hope that the information provided helps you understand the risks associated with dangerous drug combinations and encourages you to take precautions to ensure your safety and the safety of your loved ones. Remember to share your experiences with drug interactions in the comments below to help create awareness. We'll be providing more insights in the comment section as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more health and wellness content. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.